Um, additional note for later videos. The Hubbard thing, America did their version of banning books, making it unavailable. They vilified him to try to get everybody to forget all of these science fiction books and the satire books he wrote. A lot of his main storylines have come true. Uh, Battlefield Earth, <coughs> excuse me, um, the whole premise of that story was that the main aliens were actually good guys before they got ripped off and then psychiatrists destroyed their race by controlling up using psychiatry and pharmacology to control the population. Also in the Mission Earth decology, the main premise there is that the coordinated information apparatus, the CIA, used drugs to turn the general population into drug addicts, which is what has happened now with uh, cannabis all over the Western world. And also to use class A drugs to turn the people in charge. In that story, it was the emperor. And looking at the royal family, and the politicians, they all look like they're on class A drugs. The, the paranoia that they have walking around and the way they speak. Uh, Prince William, Prince Harry, all the princes and princesses look as if they are on class A drugs. They've got all the classic visible symptoms. So it looks like, yeah, America's pretty much taken Hubbard's books and put them into reality. A lot of his books were satire, and they were reflecting what was actually happening in real life in America. And it was rather predictive of what would happen in the future. A torch that has kind of, not officially, but blatantly been passed to Tom Cruise, who has also made a point that all of his Mission Impossible movies, I've not seen the most recent ones uh, that came out since the pandemic, but the ones going up to that with Baldwin, where he was in it and got killed. All the Mission Impossible movies up to that point, from what I've seen, were predictive of what would happen in real life, including a virus, the rabbit's foot, that was in China, ordered, created by America, and then controlled by America so they could release it. So pretty much everything in the Mission Impossible movies has been predictive of what would happen in the future and has come to pass.